Hey everyone and welcome to a dry run where I try not to drink beer for an entire year. It's Rolf. How are you tonight? Uh, it's a beautiful evening. It's May in Toronto. I'm out at a park in a local area and it's really a beautiful uh, evening once again. The weather is warming up but not too warm that the bugs are out. Although I can see a couple on my camera. They find that interesting. So they're coming. Anyway, tonight is a special night or a day actually because it marks 100 days since I took my last drink and that would have been on February the 18th earlier this year and I've got to say the time has gone by it hasn't flown by but uh, it's it has gone by uh, rather quickly and I just wanted to uh, update you on how I'm doing and a few things I've learned in this uh, journey um, some of which are surprising and uh, some of which uh, I kind of predicted so uh, I'm gonna tell you about four things that I found I've really benefited from. So the first thing is the stabilization of my mood and energy. Now, when uh, I was uh, a social drinker, remember, remember that I'm doing this by choice. So I wouldn't call myself or have called myself a heavy drinker. I mean, I was a typical social drinker, mostly for weekends. I didn't really drink much during the week. That said, I still found that um, having had those drinks, and in my case it was beer, that it was uh, leaving me kind of feeling sluggish the next day. I wouldn't call it a raging hangover or anything. But anyway, those things are vanished along with the Advil, along with the, the you know, soda water, whatever you want to call it, water at night. Um, so that's been a good thing. Uh, I find that I can plan my life better and I can stick to a plan. Uh, not that I didn't before, but you can have longer range plans. And in that, that you know from one day to the next, from one week to the next, and as it's turning out even from one month to the next, uh, life is a bit more predictable when your mood and your energy doesn't flag all over the place. And alcohol, regardless of what kind, wreaks havoc in that and I, I see that in people and I recognize it in myself. So that's been a good thing because uh, what it's done for me is uh, I've gone ahead and done things that I've been putting off or uh, just haven't wanted to try because you know when you wake up on a Saturday or Sunday or some other day like you have your work to take care of but beyond that uh, when you want to go out and say do a shoot or you want to do some kind of project you know, you're kind of dragging your ass around and it's the easiest thing in the world just to say, ah, I'll get to it later. So there's been um, a lot less of that going on where, you know, I just pick up and go. So uh, that I would say is probably the most important benefit is that my mood and my energy is uh, stabilized and allow me to get on with things that are both productive and are probably good for me. I have more determination, more perseverance. So there's like, uh, you know, sometimes when you're having a bad day and you just wanna pack it in, uh, well, I just stand back, I take a breath, and um, say, you know, I'm gonna get to this, I'm gonna finish this, I'm gonna do it, or I'm gonna do it for half an hour, or I'm gonna do it for an hour, or two hours, and you know, it'll get done. I have the confidence that whatever I start, whatever I tackle, it's going to get done. It may not get done that day, but it will get done because I will, I will devote my energy and my talents and my whatever skills I have, and I'll just get on with it. So it's given me extra perseverance, which uh, again is another uh, benefit. And uh, along with that, of course, uh, is the physical fitness. Uh, now I belong to uh, a gym here in Toronto and um, you know I've been a member for about four years so I have been going while I've been a social drinker I mean you know big deal um, but uh, what, what I'm finding now is I'm squeezing in an extra workout and the workouts that I have been having have been better so again that's another gain um, I'm realizing because uh, I'm just 
not devoting any evenings to, you know, having a few beers, uh, watching the game, watching a movie or, or you know, even out, um, you know, with friends and getting a little silly. Um, I, I find that I'm fresher and I can bring that fresh energy to the gym and it's helping me for a better workout. And as a result, I feel a lot better. I really do. Um, it's made a difference uh, and it's noticeable that way. Okay, and the fourth good thing that uh, is happening as a result of this social experiment of me not drinking beer is that I'm doing this, putting myself out there. I'm doing these videos. Now, uh, as part of my work for my video production company, I shoot videos for other clients. I shoot them, I direct them, I edit them. Um, but they have other people in them and not me. I've always wanted to do a vlog. I just had to wrap my head that I really did have something to say and hey, you know, uh, you might think otherwise, but um, this is a good project in the sense that it's uh, a benefit for myself and maybe for other people who are thinking about cutting back or giving up drinking or maybe starting the process of getting sober. Um, so, I wanted to do something like that at the same time um, be able to uh, use the camera gear that I have. I've got all this stuff that you know between shoots it kind of lies around and sure yeah you play you play with uh, the gear and you test stuff but there's nothing like focused projects that really get you shooting and uh, I have to thank a couple of uh, regular vloggers like Scott McKenna down uh, in the US uh, in Pennsylvania he's one of them that guy is amazing he cranks out videos every single day so anyway 100 days it's quite an accomplishment for me what is that 14 and a half weeks uh, it I've never done anything like this before uh, and it's really feels pretty good that I've been able to do it so what's the next goal hey 200 I don't know uh, we're shooting for 365, but we'll take it one day, one week at a time, and, and that's the way we all should live. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it right here. Uh, this has been Rolf for the dry run, where I try to drink, follow my journey, and I try to drink no beer for an entire year. All right, that's it for now. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.